Hello and welcome back to my Dark Souls playthrough. Today's episode, we're hopefully going to get down to beating Seath. I'm saying hopefully because, uh, yeah, no real promises. He is an easy boss for the most part. Like, all you gotta do is be careful where he flails and all that. But as you can see, I'm not really the best at this game. Never claimed to be the best. Considering the fact that some people have made it to this point right here in literal minutes of the game, and this is like... What episode are we on? Like 12 or something? Maybe higher? I don't remember. That it's taken us many, many, many hours to just get to where we are currently. And the funny thing is, I know most of the paths I'm taking, for the most part, like, the Tomb of the Giants, meh. I honestly don't know how to really get down there, but I know, kinda. Like, I can find my way down there, but it's gonna take a lot of just mindless running to get there. Alright, so, the plan for today's episode is get down and fight Seath. Who should be visible from up here, I think? No? Not yet? I don't remember where you can see Thief just sitting. But I know there is one point where you can just pass over and just like, see him chilling down there. Is it here? No, I guess not. Also there are the moon- the moonlight butterflies! I said I was gonna fight every boss in the game, didn't I? I completely forgot about them. Yeah. Oh yeah, Seath has to fly in from the side if he comes in from there. Okay, so for this episode, we're gonna see what we can do. For the most part, it's easy enough to get over there. We just have to run around Seath. Hello, Seath. Good to see you again. My big tentacle friend. Okay, that was... Ooh. That was a little close for comfort there, buddy. Don't you think? Okay, Seath. You're now pathetically weak again. Okay, just do that, I guess. Ooh. Okay, come on me, run. We're getting some good luck right now. Get me out of there. Good one, Steve. I'll give that one to you. We're getting really good RNG right now. Like, really, really good. Like, where was this yesterday? Like, really? Where was this luck yesterday? Come on. And we beat him first try on this episode. Ain't that something? How many times did we die to Seath yesterday? Like really, how many times did we die to him? <sighs> well, 
Well, I guess that leaves one Lord Soul left. Grave Lord Nito. Well, that went... A lot better than I was thinking, actually. Okay, so... Let's go to Firelink. And then I figure out where to go from there. Okay, that was something. Okie dokie, so. Also, what is our weapon up to? I always forget to check. It's plus five. I know there's a way to get to like plus ten or something, but I don't remember how, so. Eh. Okie dokie, so. Huh. The depths, isn't it? Undead Parish, no. Dark Moon Tombs, no. Have I not unlocked it? I don't think I have. So, uh, let's go down, I guess. Which, the path isn't really that hard, so we just gotta really run there. Oh, hello, friend. You Good to see sorry, you. Fool. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slump. Is it because I talked to the other dude and told him, yeah? Because you can only get the bad ending if you at least if you don't kill the four kings last. If you kill them last, then you don't have a chance of getting the bad end. Or... Okay. Can I just... Thank you. Okay, sweet. Yeah, the bad ending is not really that bad. It's just... It's actually not even really a bad end. Like... Oh, hey. It's just... Actually, it's better for your health, taking the bad end, because in that end you just walk away from the flame and let the world fade. Which is really funny to think about. Like, and we drop down, hang a left, then we hang another left, out of the way, skelly boy. Then we rest a little bit. I don't remember what level this bonfire is at, though, so, yeah, who knows. Now we're gonna go all the way back here. And then we're gonna go around you. Around you two. Then it's, like, right here, right? Yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's get explodey. Where do you drop? Right here? Can you not, please? Thank you. Ow! I thought I killed you already. Get out of here. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, what? There's a reviver nearby? I killed all of them. Well, I might drop here. I was off. I was off by just a little itty bit. That's my bad. But it should be easy to make our way back this time. <clears throat> this time. Sorry, allergy season. I think I already said that last episode, but yeah. Still the same. Allergies are fun. Also, if you're asking why I don't just drop down from there, it's because it's really dangerous to do that. Oh, you're kind of close this time. You're very close this time. Oh, that was closer than I would like to admit. I drop down here. Ha ha ha. Oh. Oh, that's fair. Good job. Ah, what? No fair be able to hit me from right there. And I deny you. No more bone wheels. Yeah, no more bone wheels. We're safe. 
Then we go back down to Pinwheels Arena, which gave us the lovely ability to get 20 whole Estus flasks. Also gonna heal just a little itty bitty bit. This was a real fun little area. Pinwheel, even though he was still pathetically easy, was a little harder this early in the game, because last time I fought Pinwheel, I completely forgot about... Hmm. Shortcut. Shortcut to what? This way? I did it? What is this a shortcut to? Is this a cool thing? I want to see cool thing. Ooh, free stuff. That looks like it just leads back in front of Pinwheels Arena. So I'm going to assume that that's not where I'm supposed to go. And it's going to be a horrible idea to follow these things. I'm really scared because I I don't like the dark. I don't think these guys can respawn though, so that's lucky. Do I risk jumping to that? I'm not going to try and jump around that. That just seems stupid. Okay, hey buddy. Good to see you again. Here you go. You dropped right off the back of this. Oh. Hey, no, I hit first. No you. Bad skeleton. I'm the boss. I am the danger, as the senior white would say. Ooh, stuff. Hello, Patches. Good to see you again. Ah, here it is. Here's the bonfire. Sweet. You know what? I'm just gonna be safe and kindle this bonfire all the way. So how many souls do I have? Humanities? Where are all my humanities? Eight, so that would be... So one, two, heal myself. That goes five, fifteen. So humanity, ten, fifteen, twenty. So I had to have enough to kindle this one all the way. If I wanted to. Hmm, do I kindle it though? That's the question. Because if I can get all the way to Nito, I might not even need it. Ugh. How did I get a hair in my mouth just from talking? Good day. Good day. You look, what are you doing in the catacombs? This oh, is our good friend Patches. Yes. Well, here's a tip. There's a stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it. I owe you for all that, uh, praying and whatnot. Well, go on. Have a look. <laughs> yeah, he wants to kill us, and if we come back up, he tries to kill us again. So, uh, yeah. Best thing to do is not. And I think you can just drop down. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Hey, we got a white titanite chunk, though. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't really remember how to get through that whole area. Considering even though this is supposed to light your way, you get two things that light your way. The Skull Lantern and this. I still don't know fully, like, what does... Okay, don't hit the A button, I guess. Okay, sweet. And then we just kind of run on through everything. 
Test. Okay, I am relatively safe. Oh, bonfire. Sweet. No, rest, rest. Oh, come on. Please tell me. No, I didn't do it. This is gonna put me back in patches, huh? Lovely, lovely, lovely. <sighs> yep. By the time I realized I could have done anything, I was already, like, just seeing it charge me down. And he still gets that first slap, huh? Okay. I guess that's fair. So if I just... works, I guess. Just wrap around as fast as I can and rest. Ha <laughs> ha I made it. You nerd. Hmm. It's either talking about the bonfire or there's something down this dark pit. Which I'm not gonna jump down. Because I'm not stupid. And you would be correct. I don't remember how to get out of here. Did I figure it out by accident? I figured it out by accident. Never mind. Still completely lo- Oh, a ladder. Danger? Oh yeah, this is the place where you get invaded. I think you only get invaded if you have the humanity- uh, you, uh, you have a humanity though, right? And also, that is an area of the game. I don't remember, though, if it's like... I think it might be a DLC part of the game, but there's a form of this area in every single one of the Souls games, which I think is just awesome. Like, in Bloodborne, it's the Hunter's Dream. In... Yeah. In this game, it's that area, which I think is called, like, the Ashen Lake or something. Dark Souls 2. I know it's there, but I've just forgotten the name of it. Okay, out of my way, buddy. Dark Souls 3, it's... I don't know the name, but it's there. Pretty sure, at least. We just want to run past all the pinwheels. I think we can just continue our quick running. Ooh, that was kind of close. Almost had me there, pinwheels. Yep, these are just your normal old pinwheels. Good old buddies, old friends, and skeleton babies. Yep, you heard me right, skeleton babies. They are terrifying me because they're just, ugh, skeleton babies. Yep, the pinwheels, just as easy as the, hey, where did you come from? And the only bad thing about the pinwheels is that if they do hit you, they do hit kind of hard with that fireball. But it's really slow, so chances are nothing's going to happen. I do kind of wish there was a little bit of a faster way, but hey, get ready for Nito! back. Now here's the trick. Nito here doesn't really have many friends. 
Do we just stand right here and keep our eye on him while he gets close to? I forgot about that move. Skeletons don't respawn. Because for that move, you gotta like dodge while he's jumping at you. And yeah, Nito is a bit of a cakewalk. That is the most dangerous part of his moveset right there. To avoid it, all you gotta do is walk away from him. Not even that far, to be honest. Hate that move. Wait, that's the same move. Yeah, it does hit kind of hard if he hits you with it. Is that the big boom one? No. Oh. Let's see. And I think we got like one more hit on him. Nope. And he's dead. That kills all the skelly boys. And that means with 30 minutes left, we are prepared to fight and kill Lord Gwyn. Oh, oh, hmm. Okay, this episode went a lot faster than I thought. Okay, um. Ooh, I was not prepared for this. And also, if you get to Nito at the beginning of the game, you can enter the Grave Lord's Coven, which actually gives you his weapon. It's not the best weapon, but it's a pretty decent weapon. And its ability, as long as the enemy is like big and stand still, is pretty decent because it's his little stab in the ground and it'll be right in through the floor. It's really cool, in my opinion at least. Well, level 70. Sweet. Now let's go to. Sunlight Altar? I think? No, that's not right. That's not right, is it? No, I was right. Nah, I was definitely wrong with that. Okay, so. Altar of the Grave Lord, the Death, Thundered Parish, Tomb of Giants, Duke's Archive, Crystal Cave. Dark Moon Tomb? Let's try it? I don't know where to go. No, that's definitely not it. Uh... It's not the depths of the undead parish. Uh, maybe if we go to the Firelink Shrine, we can uh, just bloop in? I don't know. Because without Framped there to take me, 
will the other one come in to take me? Buddy, you uh, you here? Homeboy? I'm about to try something really stupid, and this probably isn't going to work. Geronimo! That works? And also, yes, this is part of Los Isolith. You can see because the roots of the Bed of Chaos actually dig into the place. Which I think is awesome. Let's offer the souls. And this should open the door. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and kindle the bonfire, because I'm pretty sure this is the only one here. Let's reverse our hollowing. And this will also be our little test to see if we need to kill the flaming centipede to uh, get... Wait, what? Oh. Oops, well, I guess now I have three humanities. Oh well. And also, yes, you can see all of Lord Gwyn's knights, the, uh, I think they're called the Iron Knights or the Alone Knights? I don't remember. Oh, wait, I got their armor set. I, I know this. It is the... Silver Knights. Which is really cool. Like, they look awesome and just... Look at this, just... Oh, the kiln of the first flame. And you can see where whenever Lord Gwyn lit himself, he blasted the whole place. It's like, ooh, just look at that. Let's, ah, that's so cool. Anyway, for this, it's real easy. We just gotta backstab all these guys. They should go down in one hit. Or three. They also bl drop their stuff, so that's cool. I should also try and figure out... Because this weapon is still good, but it's not even leveled up all the way, because it can go up to plus 10 like all the other weapons. Okay, buddy, come on. Fight me! Fight me! Fight me, bruv. And you're down for the count. And the greats, their weapons just look awesome. Like, let me just example it for you. Where is it? The Black Knight Greatsword. Look at that. It does a lot of damage right off the bat. And there's a look at the thing. It looks cool. But I think you have to be even stronger than what I am to wield it, right? Oh, you have to have 18 decks. My bad. So you just have to have a little more decks because it's a faster hitting greatsword. There should be one more knight in between me and there. Right? No? Oh. But anyway, this area is just so cool to me, I think. Just look at this. It's like a big blasted furnace. And just that color is so cool. Like, there's just a lot of colors you don't see in games, and that's one of them. Well, I guess that's one way to deal with my problem. And also, these guys are the Black Knights. Not silver, but very close. 
these are basically like Lord Gwyn's main help. Like these are his guys, like the boys. Hey, actually, there should be one more fire nearby. At least that's if I remember right. No, that's his little chamber thing. I think. Hey, buddy. You did quite the wind-up. Pretty cool. Well, good attempt, at least. Ow, that kind of hurt a little bit. Can't lie. The Black Knight Great Axe. Like, their weapons just look awesome, but I don't know if that's just me. Let's just look at them! They're awesome looking. They're like the Silver Knights, but like... Can you, like, not do that, please? Thank you. Okay, so it seems we have misjudged. Our bro is not here. Hey, wait, what? Oh, we forgot to pick this one up. Oops. And also, yeah, these guys drop stuff every time, so we could just theoretically go back and forth. Anyway, let's go ahead and kill ourselves. And go back to Los Isolith. Actually, wait. There's one more boss I need to sweep up first. Because, uh, should be in the Undead Parish, because it's the big Moonlight Butterfly. It's a real easy fight, you just have to kind of avoid the big explosive laser beam ball things. I think it's a really fun fight just because of how it works. Like, if you have any sort of ranged attack, it's like trivialized. I'm afraid you'll have to look for someone. Nope. My sword's already all upgraded up. What did you say? Be careful. What did you say? Seem to be doing need anything. Hmm. I'll be seeing you. Be careful. Did we ever kill this guy? Okay, we did. Good. It's not bad or anything, it would have just been a little bit more annoying. Now, if I remember right, where we're going, all we need to do is follow this path all the way out there. And technically we could go and harass the uh, the Hydra, but it's just annoying, because you just have to hit each of its heads, like, two or three times with this weapon, with how upgraded it is. You missed. Ooh, good stuff. It's just... It's not even a boss fight. It's, it's weird. I get you first. Well, let's see if we can't fight the dreaded Moonlight Butterfly. <laughs> well, anyway, besides this pretty early game fight we're about to go try, and considering how my luck normally is, we're probably going to die to this one more than we did to Gravelord Nito. This is the wrong way. Here we go. Yeah, so basically, I've been playing the game Stellars, which if you haven't played, don't. It's horrible. It's probably one of the worst games I've ever played, but I can't stop playing it. Like, to me, it's just so weirdly fun. Like, give me that. Ooh. Mm hmm I could have used that a while ago. Can we follow this? Oh, 
all the way to the over here. Oh yeah, I was right. You do stand. Oh. Expecting you to last a little bit longer, buddy. Come on. Oh, there it is. Anyway, Stellaris is a game where you're just playing in space, right? The dumbest thing ever. It's basically space politics, but I just can't get enough of it. It's just so fun. Okay, butterfly boy, where are you? Oh, there you are. Ow. That hurt a little bit. Oh. Big laser? Ow. Oh, can you do the big charge one? Do the big charge like you get thrust in the thing. Thrust. Not that. I want you to thrust your face into the pillar. Come on, just slam your skull into the rocks. Please, I beg of you. Just slam your skull into the rocks, my guy. Stop being, like, rude. My guy, just do it. Slam your skull into the rocks. Dude, just hit your head into the rocks. Yes, 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 thank you. Thank you. Well, can we just one cycle this? Come on, come on. One more hit. Woo! We did it! What did we do? I'm not sure. I've never been to this area. Ooh, what's up here? I'm excited. What do I get to see? Okay, big tower. A really big tower. Ooh, what's gonna be at the top? Ooh, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. Andre? Okay, um, let's, well, let's go back. That's, uh, a tad weird. <laughs> Don't really know what to say about that. And I don't know about any watchtower basement key. Like, what is it? Open? There's nothing over there. Is it here? That's... It just feels a little awkward. I got no clue what that was all about. Don't do whatever you were trying to do, buddy. Just don't. say I wasn't really, uh, really expecting any of that. 
That, that was just a little bit weird. Uh. Not really too sure what it was all about. Hey! What's this? Has this item been here the whole time? And I thought he already killed all the guys over here. Oh, did I rest? I guess I rested. Why did I do that? I'm sorry, I just wasn't expecting that. Like, my brain's a tad scattered now. Because... What is up with my drop rates? Am I? I'm not even wearing Havel's ring. What? I mean, I'm not even wearing the Covetous Serpent ring. What is happening? Really? One time I needed them to drop stuff like that, they didn't. But now. Ugh. Could it be something like related to over here? No, there's nothing over here. Well, maybe Andre will say something related to what I just found? I hope. Hopefully he just has, like, a twin brother and he's not, like, dead or something. Because that's kind, kind of weird. Just a little. Hey Andre, buddy. What's up? My, that's a rare ember. You had. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I could produce divine weapons with a flake. Well, you've made a fine decision. Oops, still can't upgrade my weapon. I don't think. Yeah, no. Okay. I'll be seeing you then. Andre, if I come back next time and you're dead, I'm gonna be so depressed. Like, if I accidentally just killed Andre, I'm going to be so sad. We still have a lot of time left. Okay, um... The Daughter of Chaos, sure. We still need to go and finish all that stuff. It's that boss, that boss. I think that's all the bosses of the game. So far, at least. Because I think the only one left for me to fight is Lord Gwyn and then the Synthpeed here. Did I rest at the bonfire? Well, I guess I'll see that soon. faster way down is through this. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage. Okay, well. Let's see if I can't run over to the flaming centipede. So we got, like, what? 15, 20 minutes? 40, 50, yeah, about 20 minutes. Considering I normally stop the episodes around 55 or something. There's a bonfire right here? Yeah, sure, I guess. I mean, I have no reason not to use this. So where will this take me? At least I know Solaire is safe because I'm wearing the thing that kills him on my head. Which is kind of, uh, kind of weird, right? This might actually be the boss room right here, and I think I remember how to tease the fight. It is the boss fight, okay. So soon, wow. And no, so Laird doesn't... Actually, I think he might help us with this fight if we were human. And he's still alive. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. So I think the trick is just standing, like, right here in this corner. And waiting for him to grab us. Okay, heal up a dead. Can you stop that? Like, bro, stop punching. Walk. Yeah, I'm right here, bro. Stop punching at me. Nerd. I can't hardly see anything, so I'm gonna hope he grabs me soon. Let's try this. And we've won. He's now outside the map. That means eventually he's going to die. And the best thing to do for this is to come on over here. Yeah, that fire will kill you quick. Then for the rest of this episode, we're just gonna chillax here. Wait for him to fall out of the map. Don't hear him anymore, that means he's fallen. And he has to fall for a little while before he dies. So I remember my first time accidentally doing this glitch, because... Yeah, there we go. I thought I'd glitched out the fight, because... If I tried to go over to there, I just died in the lava. If I tried to come over here, I was like running along a really small platform that eventually got me killed. So I fought him there and glitched out a few times. Hey, so there, buddy, old pal, old friend of mine. Good to see you, buddy. I'm glad you're alive. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And talk to the Solaire Man. Still cannot sleep. We just gotta exhaust all this dialogue. After all this. Yeah, he's starting to get depressed that he can't find his only son, which he's just talking about the thing I have on my head. So let's go back to the daughter of chaos. And now we're gonna go back to the shortcut we unlocked. Not that way. And that should prime Solaire for helping us in the boss fight. I think. Because so I think that's all we need to do. Get him there. And then... Because the way we did it isn't the real way to do it. It's like... I guess the cheaty way. Like, we basically paid to win. Dark Souls a pay-to-win game. <laughs> Actually, I guess it kind of is if you consider this. Like, I had to pay 20 souls. Which, and then again, I guess that's not really money. That's gathering resources to trade in a game. But what would that be considered? Because I doubt it would be called a pay-to-win. Okay, Solaire. Where are you, buddy? Now that we did that, he should be somewhere near here. Is that him? No? Soleil? Buddy? Oh, there he is. I walked right past you, huh? I'm sorry, sitting down, you look just like a root, buddy. Especially from the back with where you were, because there was a root right here in front of you, and I just rolled on past it. Sorry, friend. Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What not, my son? My... And after that, he goes to fight Lord Gwyn himself. Dude literally followed his religion and then thought, You know what? I was lied to. 
I'm gonna go fight the guy who started it. Which, I gotta admit, is some pretty decent, like... Like, you gotta admit, that is like a ballsy move, just... You know what? I didn't get what I want, I'm going to fight the Pope. Like, that would be the equivalent of like, a Catholic man deciding, you know what? I'm atheist now. Time to fight the Pope. Like, just imagine how funny that would be to watch. Just like, <laughs> uh, it's not really funny or anything. It's just kind of like a thing that's kind of interesting to think. I still wish I knew what was up with that chest there. And... Ooh, 50 minutes in... We finished the rest of the bosses of the game. I'm pretty sure we've killed every boss in the game now, besides Lord Gwyn. At least all the bosses that I know of, for a fact. You know what? I'll make my, win my way to the doors of Lord Gwyn, just so we can be ready for the next episode. Oh wait, but I'll need to be at least partially human. Okay, human me up, baby. Because if he is still not there, that means we've missed a boss. And that means I don't know where I need to go. Because technically, he doesn't need to. You don't need to fight the bosses, you just need to be there. So technically, I didn't need to fight that thing, but. Well, I guess kinda I'd have to, because I wouldn't have enough health to get around him. And I think, yeah, the knights still spawn in, so yada yada yada, fun fun fun. Now let's just go ahead and sweep these guys up. That works! And yes, they still drop their items whenever you kill them, so... If you really wanted to, you could just walk through here many times and just slaughter them all. And just take their souls. All their items, sell them to Andre. Okay, wow. That was quite the heavy hit there, buddy. Maybe you could, like, take a nap. A dirt nap. Yeah, don't hit me. Oh, he stopped dropping his sword. Yeah, but they still drop Titanite chunks, so meh. Yep, there's two of them there, one on the bridge, and two on the stairway. Which means all we need to do is run a little, little bit, a bit more. Okay, buddy, this way, this way, this way. Get him right here, and then we just actually walk around, stab him in the back of the head, then we charge up to Big Bonk, take all his junk, which this is probably the best place to farm for Titanite chunks, but it's at the end of the game, so chances are your weapon's already maxed out. And also here he is, our boy, Solaire. Well, this will be the end of this video, next time we will beat the game. I've been happy to play this all along with you. Have a great day, and see ya.